Hi there, my name is Josh, and today I have an HP ProBook, very nice thing, and I have an ingenious idea. I'm going to take out the DVD drive and add more RAM. Now you gotta remember from the last video, always take out your battery. Just kind of that out of there. And then uh, there's definitely room for RAM in here. Shoop. Shoop. Pretty good, pretty good. I like where this is going. Okay, so now we're gonna plug it in and see if our RAM is working. I have the RAM in there. We're gonna see if it picked up on any of that. And the very first thing you wanna to go to is the BIOS. It's the basic input output system of your machine. So for this HP, I know if I turn it on, tap F10, it takes me to BIOS setup, setup. There's always a system information tab. And if we go down and It'll say memory, it'll list what your memory is, what speed it's going, and it only says eight gigabytes. Um, pretty sure I just shoved like 32 gigabytes in there. So we're gonna delve deeper and head into task manager. That's my next go-to thing. Now maybe the BIOS is wrong. We're gonna go check it out. Who really uses DVD drives anyway? Like, uh, I don't remember what a DVD looks like. Hmm. Flawless design, flawless design. There we go, finally. So now that we have Windows booted up, uh, control, shift, escape, let's hop into my best buddy, task manager. Uh, when you had a Windows 98 machine, it was impossible to do anything without it. You can also right click the, the bottom bar and go into task manager there. So here, um, I, I, when it first shows up, it's like real small, double click it, now to make it bigger, uh, head over to performance, memory, and huh, still only have eight gigabytes of memory. It does tell me that it's one of two, so there's two slots in there. It tells me that it's a SODIM, which is a uh, smaller laptop sized one, and uh, it shows me the capacity, which is it's kind of confusing. It shows you how much hardware it takes and then how much uh, Windows takes and uh, add them together and you get it. So this is like 7.2 plus 8 or plus 7.2 plus 0.8 and that's just an 8 gigabyte stick. Um, hardware reserved is like for device drivers, uh, if you have a mouse, keyboard, display, um, stuff you plug into your computer, it takes up some memory to, to run those stuff. Uh, so task manager still doesn't say I have you know, the whole 32 gigabytes I, I put in there. I'm a little confused. And uh, we're gonna check into it a little bit deeper. My last go-to program is Hardware Info. And that will tell me how RAM is installed and um, the speeds and what, what, it's just some more granular details. So give me a minute and I will download that program for you. So just go into, uh, when you're doing a search for this, go HW info and uh, whatever. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, so we might throw a screenshot on the screen here just to have everything show you. But um, it'll show you everything about your CPU, your GPU, and then over here, memory modules. It'll tell you, um, you know, there's, there's one installed, what it's clocked at. Uh, does it have ECC, which is error check and correction support? Um, I'm going to show you the capacity. It'll show you um, this DDR3 runs at 1600. And uh, it shows you that it's PC3, 12,800, DDR3, SD, RAM, SODIM. Basically describing what that chip is supposed to look like. Oh, by the way, don't take RAM out of your computer while it's on. Don't follow that. Uh, yeah. So the SODIM is just a small one there. And uh, that's about it. it um, this will also tell you the motherboard and the chipset. If you're looking for future upgrades of your system, you can see the motherboard and chipset here. Definitely look those up to find compatible memory modules. You might also want to look up your CPU. The CPU has certain supports for it. Uh, I know like Xeon processors want ACC RAM and uh, you know, maybe some slower ones might not be able to support the higher feature speeds of, of really fast RAM. 
So that's about it. Those are my three go-to things. And uh, it is the BIOS, a basic input output system, smash F10 when you're turning on your computer or the equivalent. My second one is task manager. That's a quick, easy go-to. It's built into Windows and you can figure out what's going on. And my third one is HW Info. Uh, you can download that. It'll give you some really cool stuff and you'll learn about the PC that you're using. Uh, what it does, how it does it, uh, what chips and, and processors and graphics cards and, and memory make up this system. And uh, really great. And if you go through these one by one and try to get everything, you'll learn a lot about a PC. I think we might have taken a lesson or two from this that you can't just take the DVD drive out and put in RAM. It doesn't quite work like that. I'm Josh. Thanks for watching. And I hope you guys learned something. Drop a like, subscribe, I really appreciate it. It means a lot. And join me as we learn more about RAM and eventually just the whole PC system. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Toodaloo. No! <laughs> Does that make you nervous? Yeah. There we What's go. that? Hello? Hello? Now I'm nervous. <laughs> Gosh, thanks for watching this video. 